Hey everybody, and welcome to the next installation for the project Build a Data Analysis Library from Scratch in Python. In this video, we're going to be opening up the project in VS Code. So VS Code stands for Visual Studio Code. It is a code editor distributed by Microsoft. It is free and open source, and it was ranked as the number one code editor in the 2018 Stack Overflow Developer Survey. So it is powerful and it is popular and it is a, an editor that I like to use. In the last video, we ended up downloading all the material uh, of Pandas Cub from its GitHub repository onto our local machine. And in this video, we're going to be opening up all that material with Visual Studio Code. So I already have Visual Studio Code uh, downloaded and installed and have an instance of it running right here. Now this video tutorial is not going to cover the ins and outs of Visual Studio Code. I'm merely going to uh, open up the files, open up the project with it, and then continue on with the rest of the steps. Now um, my particular VS Code, I have uh, installed several extensions, um, and I will link to all the extensions that I use uh, to help for, for my development environment. All right, so. Uh, this is the opening screen that you'll see if you have not started a project. So we'll, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and open up the pandas cub folder. So I place this folder in, my, in the documents folder. And there it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right, so here are the contents of that folder. And these are the exact contents that I downloaded from GitHub. Now when you first open up, uh, when you first begin this project, you're going to want to open up the readme.md file. So this contains the underlying markdown of all of the instructions that you uh, need to follow in order to complete the project. Now the markdown isn't particularly pleasant to read, so Visual Studio Code provides a markdown preview that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this much more readable and place this preview over here. So you're going to want to keep this markdown open at all times during the project. So this, this is your roadmap uh, for completing the project. All the instructions are here. Every step um, has detailed instructions on how to complete it. So you'll definitely want to uh, keep this open uh, so that you can follow along and um, read it. So I'm going to be keeping this open as well. All right, so this is uh, the end of this tutorial, and we'll begin our creation of the uh, development environment in the next video.